Joel Wallace here at the DVE store. So today I'm gonna to show you this really cool switcher setup that we've got going on here with the Roland VR1HD and how you can use this in conference room meetings, uh, streaming through Skype or GoToMeeting or any other platform, as well as you could use this in the educational world through K through 12 for the morning announcements, uh, sports, or even uh, doing game streaming. So uh, let's jump in and I'll show you what I've got going on here. All right, so basically what we have going on here is I'm just gonna pop over to our uh, overhead camera and um, some really cool features with this switcher is that you have uh, three HDMI inputs coming in and I'll show you my graphic that we've got here. And uh, so you can have camera one coming in for one of your presenters or an anchor. Uh, camera two can also be for um, another presenter on camera. And then um, for HDMI three, you can use a computer or a game console or a third camera for doing this. And then from here, you're gonna have a monitor that's gonna go out and this will give you basically the program. It'll also allow you to be able to go in and uh, do your settings um, for having the on-screen display. And then on, also with the back of the switcher, it has the USB out port. So then you can connect this to a computer and your computer will see this as a web camera uh, for streaming this or being able to record it to your computer. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I've got going on here in, behind the scenes. And what I've got going on is I'm taking the USB out and then I'm bringing it into this computer here. For the software that I'm using, I'm using vMix to be able to do the recording and to be able to stream live with the, uh, the video here. So now for getting this fourth input that you're seeing here, what I've got is I'm bringing it into a uh, Blackmagic Decklink mini recorder. You could also use a USB capture box as well to be able to do this but what you'll need to do is you'll have program coming out into vMix and then you would need to switch between the two sources from this camera to the program um, if you, for adding this forth. Another cool idea that you could do and you could add a Roland, the V02HD. Then what you do is you take over one of your inputs from here, but then you'll gain it back on the two switcher input with the V02HD and then you'll gain that fourth input. So then you can toggle between the two sources and then you'd have your other two sources on the VR1HD. So pretty cool um, option if you wanted to add that fourth input. And then um, for over here, I've got the Blackmagic, their video assist monitor. Uh, this is a great way to see yourself for reference. You can put it underneath your camera like how I've got it. Um, if you want to see for program, you'll also need that monitor to be able to adjust settings. Um, and then my uh, big screen TV here, this is off of uh, the through input. So then it's just a uh, monitor for reference on that for the uh, having graphics through my computer with the PowerPoint presentation. Then uh, up here, I've got camera two. This is up on my support system, so you can, that's how you're able to see the overhead shot from there. Um, the ring light that I'm using is the Prismatic Spectra. Now this is an RGB ring light. As you can see earlier here uh, with the earlier cuts, you can see the ring light flashing different colors. The, uh, it's a rainbow ring light, so you can actually pull up on the app and you can go into like different modes of, you know, strobes or slow, you know, changing of colors. There's a million different options in there. So kind of a fun, cool ring light that you can get dual purposes out of to have your um, camera mounted to it for doing like blogs or um, any kind of videos, as well as you could have it as a cool background light. So anyway, just want to show you guys my uh, behind the scenes of what's going on here. And uh, let's uh, switch on back over to the show and continue on. So with the HDMI inputs, they are hassle free. So it's really cool that you can be able to plug in all different cameras and it'll ma automatically match the resolution and frame rate for you on there. So it makes it really easy of use. 
Another cool thing um, in here is that we have these scene selections and what that means to you, and these are completely programmable, so I have this one kind of set up for this show here. So we're able to do a picture-in-picture -picture box and um, basically your presenter, like as if, you know, if I'm on the camera as a presenter, and then I can have my PowerPoint there in the background as you can see. And then if I had a second presenter, I can take camera two and then I can flip-flop those. So now I have camera two and we're able to still have the PowerPoint presentation or keynote um, going through and be able to do your presentation that way. The other way that we could do this is we could then have you know part of the screen um, with your presenter, and then we have the PowerPoint over here on the on the right hand side of me, and then we can also do this for camera two. So then, if we're switching back and forth from a conversation, then we can have those two people cut back and forth from there. We also have the other picture-in-picture -picture capability of having two people on camera. And uh, so if you had two anchors, you know, for your morning show or in your conference room, you could pop up both people onto this. So pretty cool stuff of what can be done on uh, this switcher already. So uh, let me show you a little bit more. So the other thing that's really cool with this switcher is on the third HDMI input is that it has a through output. So for those who are gamers, you can connect in your game console into the HDMI 3, and then that will give you zero latency on the through output to feed it back to your TV so you can play the game live and have zero latency with it. So pretty cool feature with the HDMI 3 uh, for that through output. So diving into the audio, what I have going here is I have a podium mic. This does a great job for when you're directing your show you, or narrating the show, you can do your own voiceover and talk through here. Um, I also have a wireless LAV uh, transmitter and receiver. This is the Rode Filmmaker Kit. And then I'm wearing the LAV currently. But if we wanted to say switch over to the podium mic, I can then fade down the lavalier mic and now I have the podium mic going through. Some other cool fun features with this uh, is that we can have a, say like I'm using a iPad, we can actually have this as our music player. So now I have the audio, the music coming in on the line input and now we can have music in the background, you can load up um, other sound effects, things you want to have loaded for your music wise. The switcher does allow you to store some media in here, but I found that it's a little bit more accessible and easy to use if you had say an iPad with your music player coming through with that. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that track there. Some other fun things, we have audio effects, and these, just like the scene selections, are all completely customizable. So we could assign like a voice changer, one pitch to like microphone two, and then we can also assign a different pitch for microphone one. So for this one, I currently have a lower voice, so if you're trying to make it sound more like your character from like a video game and give a little more persona to it, you can obviously hear that this is a lower pitch sound. Um, the other fun one that you can do is you, you can do a high pitch. This one I have pre-programmed on input two. So now we have that higher pitch. And again, you can go through and customize it exactly how you want it to sound and all that fun stuff. Another cool one um, is that on three, I have this one programmed for like, this one's an applause. There's also like a melody. So if you want like an intro to like your show, you could do that. So here I have some clapping sounds. Um, another fun one that you could do is reverb. So for more of entertainers singing, we're gonna have that more concert hall kind of sound. Other features within the audio realm, you're also going to have your headphone levels. Your headphones will plug in to the side here. You also will have a line output of the switcher, so then you can feed it to a set of monitor speakers. There's also the main, so you can adjust your main levels that's being mixed. You can um, turn those up or down. And then lastly, we have a USB stream. So then from here, this is going to be the master volume that goes 
out of the USB into your computer. So what really sets this switcher apart from quite a bit of the other switchers that are out there is that this switcher actually has a automatic switching mode. Now, normally some of them, they, you can program them so that they switch inputs every five seconds or 10 seconds, uh, whatever you set it to. But what makes this one very unique is that this one will actually detect audio and then it'll automatically cut to that video source. So for example, if we had audio coming in on our HDMI one, uh, someone just started speaking, this will automatically cut over to that voice for that camera. And then say someone on camera two started talking, the switcher would automatically detect that there's audio coming through on um, the HDMI two, and it'll switch over to that source and then you know, vice versa with that. So not a lot of switchers do that at this time. And uh, normally it's just video and then audio follows video. But for this one, it's kind of a rare breed where you can have that feature where you know, say you're in a conference room in a Skype meeting and say presenter two starts talking, then you can actually, it'll actually just switch to that source and then presenter one starts talking, it'll switch to camera one for you. So pretty cool features on that. All right, and so then lastly here, uh, we have an on air button. When it's currently lit red, it means that it's on air and what it's doing is it's sending out the video signal through the USB out to the computer for you. So when you're done with your show, you just, Press the on air button again, and then it'll do a nice good fade out to black for you. Well, that wraps it up for today on the Roland VR1HD video switcher. If you have any questions or would like to know more, feel free to email me at joelw at dvestore.com. Yeah, stay tuned for our next episodes. Thank you.